Good morning, St. Lana's Kinder. It's me again. So today is Wednesday, May 27th, and I have my adventure hat on with my ears because today is Adventureland Wednesday. But since it's Wednesday, I hope you also um, attended 8.30 Mass this morning, the virtual Mass. If not, we will pray right now. Today we hear how Jesus provided for the needs of the people who came to listen to him. In Jesus' actions, we see how generous and loving God is. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, his steadfast love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his steadfast love endures forever. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The day was drawing to a close, and the twelve came to Jesus and said, Send the crowd away, so that they may go to the surrounding villages and, country and countryside, to lodge and to get provisions. For we are here in a deserted place. But Jesus said to them, You give them something to eat, they said. We have no more than five loaves and two fish. For there were about five thousand men. And he said to his disciples, make them sit down in groups of 50 each. They did so and made them all sit down. And taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke them and gave them to, dis to the disciples to set before the crowd. And all ate and were filled. What was left over was gathered up. 12 baskets of broken pieces. The Gospel of the Lord. Think about this silently in your heart. What message do you hear in today's Gospel reading? Do you hear about Jesus? turning people away because they have no food or they have very limited food? Or do you hear about him being generous and feeding the people? Let us pray to God for our needs and the needs of others, our family, neighborhood, and the world. For each need we say, Lord, hear our prayer. For all those affected by the coronavirus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all of us in our community, so that we stay safe and healthy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the elderly and the sick, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the needy and the hungry, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all our special intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts, think of them now. For these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let's also say a Hail Mary for the month of May. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Generous and gracious God, help us to trust in your abundant love. Help us to give what we can to others and to trust that you will provide for us. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, said the sun. Good morning, said the sun. I'll be shining on you all day long. Good evening, said the moon. 
Good evening, said the moon. I'll be dreaming of you all night long. Wake up. Good morning, boys and girls. Well, today is a beautiful day. We had a beautiful day yesterday and a long weekend. Um, we are on our home stretch. We are now at, I believe, day eight, our countdown to the last day of school. Um, so for today, Advan Adventureland Wednesday, we'd like you to try something new, whether it's um, a new food, or maybe if it's riding your bike without training wheels, or even trying to ride a bike, or drawing something um, that you don't think that you'd be able to draw, try something new, okay? Um, in math, I'd like you to write your numbers as high as you can. So even if you write to 50, if you write to 20, if you can write to 100, try and write your numbers as high as you can. You guys can do it. We've been practicing all year long, okay? So when you write your numbers, count while you write the numbers so you know what you're writing. And then when you're all finished, however high you can go, try and count backwards. Big challenge, that is something new as well. We usually um, you know, count on a number line um, forwards and backwards, but once you write all your numbers, try and count your back your numbers backwards all the way back to one. Okay, super fun, super easy. I hope you were able to draw your farmer. I know you guys probably did a really really good job. Don't forget to color it. And so when you're finished um, drawing and coloring it, you're going to include this into your um, farm scene because your template does not have a farmer on it. So your farmer is gonna go in your farm scene wherever you can fit it. Um, I asked you guys to put it in a shoe box and decorate it. I even sent you an example in the email. So I hope you guys were able to do it and then cut it out and then try and um, include it in your farm, okay? And then I have a really fun video for you. It is on Epic Books. I sent the link to your um, email and it is the story called Chicken Little, a very, very old, um, funny um, story with a message at the end. So see if you can um, understand the message and um, tell me about it, okay? So, in our in religion, um, as part of our acts of kindness, treat yourself really well. Okay, pay attention to how you're feeling. Um, make yourself feel good by making yourself maybe a healthy snack by going outside to play or going out for a walk and getting some fresh air in the sunshine. Vitamin D is always, always welcome, which we get from the sun. So make sure you treat yourself well today. Um, give yourself compliments, maybe brush your hair very nicely, dress, your up, dress yourself up in the best outfit that you would like to, do your homework while you do it, and say you can do it because you can. And then pray, your, pray for yourself, pray for your health, pray for your well-being so that you can be your best to help others, okay? And then it's also Wacky Wednesday. I have a video for you. It is called the chicken dance. So go ahead and do the chicken dance. Try to do it with the um, directions and try to do it without the directions to see if you could do it on your own, okay? It is a fun dance, especially when it gets faster and then it gets slower again. So have fun, stay safe, lions, and we'll see you, okay? Happy Adventureland Day!